Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Be real. What's going on? What it do? What I it got do? the legend, the living legend, in front of the camera. <laughs> We've been trying to do this interview for months. Oh man, for months. Minute. For real. But, but we here, man. We, yeah. How you doing, bro? Man, bro, I'm I'm blessed. I'm blessed, man. I'm 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 living to see another day, and I'm still here doing my thing. So. I can't complain, man. I'm truly blessed, bro. Yeah, yeah. Real yeah. talk. Um, you've been having an amazing year musically. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I got I got a list of questions to ask you, but I oh, want to yeah. get I want to get straight into it. Like, how is your like how's your well being? How's your space, mental space? How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling good. Like I say, man, I've been having a lot of stuff been going on that try to knock me off my 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 my, my path or whatever like that, but. Other than that, bro, I've been good, bro. I've been good, man. I've been, you know, working as usual, you know, uh, getting it in, just putting it down. Everything, bro. I, 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 I can't complain, bro. I'm, I'm feeling good mentally, physically. I feel great. And, and how does it feel to be in this game so long, so consistent, and still relevant, just as relevant as any producer? Right, man. I'm going to tell you, bro, it's a blessing. It's a true blessing, bro, to be relevant in it. And it's been over a little bit over a decade, you know what I'm saying? And, bro, it's just a real blessing to still be relevant in it, to still do my thing, to still get, you know, recognized for me being a good, great, awesome producer. You know what I'm saying? It's a true blessing, bro, because a lot of people that, that, that do what I do don't last long like, you know, they don't last long like that. You know what I'm saying? They'll get in it make a hot song and then they'll call it quits. Me, I'm just, I'm still that producer that's still hungry for it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm always being in that space to where like I gotta be productive more because I feel like I ain't made it all the way there yet, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy you say that. Now you've told me this on the phone before, but I'm mm -hmm. like, be real, when you just sit there and you just really name your catalog, right? how you not there, but right. hey, you know, I guess you're in a competition with yourself. Yes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you're definitely pushing yourself to be better. So I understand. Yeah, same thing with the interviews. I'm trying to get better and better. Oh yeah, and better. oh yeah, so, definitely. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, I most definitely get it. Yeah. Um, but I want to say the top of the year. I'm gonna say Jan. What it was? January, February. Mm -hmm. I'm going TG Commerce. <laughs> Turn me up, be real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. That yeah. was the, that was the first record that that started off the year right for you, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. The lit yeah. guy, well, I can't say lit guy. He's he's doing his thing. Yeah, doing his thing. I'm seeing him everywhere. Um, how did that record come about? Man, tell us about that record, cause it's like what? Oh, I know it's over two million views. Yeah, almost three million views yeah. right now. Yeah, man, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. Talk when I first him. I first met uh T G Commas, uh by Chip Studio. Big shout out to Chip. Uh, uh I I I heard him for the first time. When I heard him. I asked Chip, I'm like, man, bro, who is that dude? Like, who who, who that is? I, you know what I'm saying? We introduced each other, you know what I'm saying, to each other and everything like that. And, bro, I had a record that I produced. The first record that I had produced was called The Other Side of Town. It was me and another producer named Maestro. And um, we had a sample in it uh, that was talking about the whole subject being from the other side of town. And I had kind of I pitched it pitched him the track and told him what the track was talking about man when I tell you instantly like dude got a, dude heard it dude heard the concept commas heard the concept and took it to a whole nother level that I thought he wouldn't even master that like that like he just showed me right then and there like man he's gonna be one of them artists that's gonna really blow and make it to the top or whatever like that so we always kept in contact with each other and everything like that. So when we linked up or whatever, uh, the Turn Me Up Be Real came about. And I'm going to tell you some real stuff, bro. Talk to it. Man, dog. It was me, Harley Ken, uh, and all his people that was with him. We went by Harley Ken People Crib. Now, 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 I done brought the set up with me. We sat the whole thing up in a kitchen, my nigga. Uh, in the kitchen. We had the speakers on 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 the table. We had the mic. I had the mic with the uh the eyeball around it, and I was just going through some beats. So he was telling me like, man, go go through some beats. And then that night we did like four 
three to four records or maybe more. So how the song came about, I'm going through beats. I'm going through beats. And the ones that I be feeling like that ain't it, I just try to skip them. So that particular track, I skipped the beat. And then he was like, man, hold on, man, go back. Go back, go back. I'm like, what What you talking about, man? Go back to that beat you just played. So I go back to it, and I'm just looking at him like, I'm playing a beat. I'm looking at him like, man, I ain't, I'm not feeling that one, bro. I ain't feeling that one. He say, man, I'm, man, bro, load that motherfucker up, bro. Come on, man, turn me up, be real. Come on, load it up, turn me up, be real. That's how the song come about. So, so look, so check this out. So, I was like, all right, bet. So, I'm like, man, shh. I ain't feeling this beat, bro. I'm not I'm not feeling it, but if he won't fuck with it, I'm going to go ahead and load it up for him. So I'm going in and I'm breaking it down or whatever like that. We getting it, we, I'm sequencing the beat at that point. So when I finished sequencing the beat, I loaded it up. When I loaded the beat up, man, commas went right in. No writing, no none of that. He went straight off the dome with it, and I just... At that point, I was being the engineer at that point and was just doing what it is that he had wanted me to do. Kind of like help them on live, live, live words and, sh and stuff like that. Just, you know, helping them, you know, trying to orchestrate the song. So we, we do the song, completed the song. I mixed it and mastered it all in the kitchen. When I did that or whatever, we worked on another song called Dirty World. Now, me personally, I liked it, that record <laughs> more than I liked it, Turn Me Up, Be Real. You know what I'm saying? So we, like I said, we did like four, five songs that that same night. In the kitchen. In the kitchen, bro. Like literally, I got some smallest speakers, and had it set up on a on, on a on a um, uh, kitchen table with the mic and everything like that. And like I said, putting that eyeball around the mic, you know, it came out, you know, clear and everything like that. So I done mixed it and mastered it and everything like that, not even knowing that that song was gonna do what it was gonna do. And bro. When they put it out, they called me for the video. I, I I got in the video with them and everything like that. And, bro, I'm still shocked to see, to hear and see people react to that record, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, it was a fluke. I ain't going to oh, even lie. Wow. It was a fluke. But did, it, did it turn you up for real, though? I ain't going to lie. After after we recorded it and I got to listening to it a lot of more times, I was like, okay, now I see where he was going at with it. And I really liked it. You know what I'm saying? But at first, I, I'm telling you, I ain't. I wasn't really feeling the beat because it was just that simple. It was simple, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even really put too much. What really caught the attention was me going in and breaking it down, you know, sequencing it and everything like that, just trying to make it a good song, you know what I'm saying? But I really didn't like the beat at first, but it grew on to me, and I really like it, though. It's crazy. Man, that man, going at, man, that man do that song in them club from... Go back inside. That was produced by Runner Trail. Big shout out to Runner Trail. I ain't gonna lie. That's my favorite record right there. Okay. I like that one. The whole energy, the whole concept, and everything how he did it. And turn me up, be real. Like them, them two hottest songs that when he performing, they going crazy. They going nuts. And you know what I'm crazy. saying? It, it's crazy that the young artists right. are still they respecting you. Right. They are trusting you to guide them. Right. Man, TJ, I know what TJ coming with yeah. like 23, 24. I'm yeah. young. I, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he young. young. He young. He young. He young. You know I saying? think I met I met Commas when he was like what about 18? Yeah. 19, something like that. 18 or 19. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and like I say, bro, do respect me. I respect him to the fullest, bro. To say he's so young, bro, that man got a, a good head on his shoulder. And 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 he and he really get in with people that he really feel like he can work with. You know what I'm saying? Because Commons ain't going to just work with no anybody if he don't feel the fire. Yeah. Like, that's just how he do roll. You know what I'm saying? And me and him, like, when we are, when we link up or whatever like that, we are, we are making something. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make something. Whether if it's something that's going to be, like, like, not good, not so good, we just getting in there working. You know what I'm saying? The whole concept of him being in the studio and working, just work. It, it, it don't even matter what record it is. His his work work ethic is really high. And he seemed coachable. Yes, he. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, bro. He he's open minded to a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, with me pitching all their ideas and stuff like that. If it, if it makes sense to him, he gonna run with it. He not big headed. You feel what I'm saying? He not that type of person to where like he ain't gonna be. Man, I ain't. Man, I'm gonna do me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like he gonna do him, but he also gonna take advice. To somebody that then already then established they self, whether if it's an artist or a producer, he gonna really take advice and really, you know, sit in and listen to, you know what I'm saying, what you gotta say or whatever like that. Like he ain't just he don't block he don't block the world out. 
of just being him. Like he gonna he gonna take advice for from from for anybody that's giving out good advice. You know what I'm saying?